Welcome to Turtle Head Unmasked. I have both the original game and this game down in the description below. But this is a puzzle horror game which originally came out in 2016 by Pika Spray, but has been remade by Team Meat Pie. Looking forward to see where this is going because I've heard a lot of good things about this game. I haven't played the original game, but looking forward to see what is within this. The best game experience is recommended to play in a dark room with headphones. It's only quarter past seven, and I have headphones on. Come on, guys. Pick up a pace, why don't you? Give it a rest, Emma. Oh, gosh, not another Emma. <laughs> We're not supposed to even be here right now anyways. Yeah, yeah, if you don't want to come, then just go home already. Look, okay? It's not our fault that we're here, okay? We just have to be here for convenience sake, okay? Ugh. Then who would be around to stop you from getting arrested? I don't know, man. <laughs> you worry too much. Try to be a little more adventurous, eh? Yeah, adventurous being we could go to jail for it. Well, here we are. The atmosphere sure is a whole lot different here at night. Of course it would be. The lights are off. Alright, you guys know what to do. Do I now? Do what? Geez, you know, but the fiend! I already told you about this. We're looking for rumoured ghosts. The ghost? We're ghost hunting. Yep, because we're in Plasmophobia, whatever that game is called, where we're literally ghost hunting. Right? Looking for something that doesn't exist. <laughs> Mason! Come on, you agree to come with us. You more so dragged us here. Don't twist our words. Right, Harriet? Don't take the words out of my mouth. And Harriet is not speaking. Look, we'll just be here for a little bit. <laughs> things said before disaster. Number one, we'll be here for just a bit. Uh, number two, things are going to go swimmingly well when they don't. And number three, Harriet looks a little bit um, down at this point in time. We're just going to be searching. Yes, yeah, searching for our demise. Imagine how popular we could be if we... Uh, the teenage mystery sol solvers who catch and reveal the ghosts. Yeah, because ghosts are revealed during the day. All within the light. I thought you were looking for to find someone, Emma. <sighs> you get the idea. Now let's split up. If anyone spots any signs of a ghost, call for me right away. Because I'm the one who's going to get the praise. Ah, I love that little animation, <laughs> despite the wink at the end there. Not as in like, um, I disapprove of the, the emotion itself, but I approve of the little animation that went on in there. That was both very cute and very good. What a pain. <laughs> Lovely. What are we going to do now? Hmm, say Harriet, you seem kind of off. And you've been fiddling around with something in your pocket since we got here. Not a pocket watch, is it? Is something wrong? Hmm. We don't talk much, do we? Don't want to say. I see. Sorry. I won't try to pry out of you. I digress. I guess we just have to go along with this. Although I don't think I trust her being alone. Nope. I don't trust anyone named Emma around. I'll search the east hole. You can explore around the entrance and keep a lookout for any fussity. Thanks for that. Since my experience with Purgatory 2, I do not trust with, to trust anyone with the name Emma. I don't know what Emma's thinking, but we will be put through hell if we're caught. So please be cautious. Thanks. We'll be cautious by leaving. Let's see. Controls. I best do a screenshot of that. Z is to interact. X is to view items. Shift. All the good jazz. Shift is to run. Good. Alt F4 quick. Nah. F5 reset. Nah, won't be doing that. I'm just so glad that my screenshot key is not exactly the same as the quick key. <laughs> I mean, how disastrous would that be, Emma's locker? Uh, oh gosh, that's a curse. Most curse we never. The first thing we interact with is Emma's locker. Righty who? Let's see what's around these parts. A poster for the book club. Isn't that just great? Perhaps we'll get to be invited in some sort of literature club. Doki doki. You should look around some more. Um, what about this one? Perhaps we shouldn't do that. This is a horror game. Nothing ever goes the way you want it to. Just because you think it's going to be okay. Not turtle plush. You don't know why, but it reminds me of something. Also, the, um... Oh, lovely. The, um... 
The scary face at the beginning of the game reminds me of that scary face that you see in the Looking Glass, which is an Omaniki fan game. None of it is important to you. I think it's like a hidden event thing in the Looking Glass, and this face is literally right at you with a huge set of teeth. None of it is important to you. Hmm, some of these lockers decorating sticky notes. I've got a sticky note for note taking. Balloons and streamers are currently taped to the locker door. Emma decorated it for your birthday. I wonder which streamers are crudely taped to it. Oh, it's most likely not going to be my name on it. I'm not bothered enough. Probably someone like Manly Badass would be taped on there. Oh, dearie me. I love it when like little Easter eggs are put into games. Because it's kind of like, well... They made the game in mind in the hopes that that person would play the game. You don't know what it could be. A poster showing a few historical leaders. Which ones would they be? Because most historical leaders and current leaders today are annoying people. Remember to Dale. The combination has to be entered as month day. It shouldn't be too hard to remember your own birthday. Good, but what is the birthday itself? That is the question. One of the cabinet drawers is locked. It requires a combination to open. You don't know what it could be. Not at this point in time. Okay, so it's Americanized so that the month goes first and then the day. Good note. I also like the fact that it put that within the game rather than thinking that <laughs> the game should just... <laughs> we telepathically should know what it is. Oh, hey, Harriet. So you don't actually believe in any of Emma's nonsense, do you? I know that people have seen some strange things around here recently. But I still think it's silly to say that there's a ghost around. Honestly, I find it a little insensitive for her to bring you into this. I mean, considering what's been going on with you. Hmm. Well, I guess she just didn't think it through. At least her intentions aren't bad. Regardless, I'd better hurry up so we can get the hell out of here. See you around. I know the head out of part was not in there, but it's kind of like the same equivalent to what we want to do at the end of the day. There's a key over there. Um, a poster for the Animu Club. Let's see, but it's outside the toilet, which is a bit, a bit silly, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, let's put the Anime Club poster right here, right next to the toilet. Okay, that's disabled access. Hmm, nothing in here. Let's see, what about this one? Uh, nope, nope. Both? Uh, there's an odd carving on the stool. Through the cracks you can see something shiny, but there's no way you can reach it with your hands alone. Alone, you say? A dispenser for feminine products, not like they ever refill it. Nope, it's just false promises and stuff like that. Uh, okay. I was thinking at first that this was an all-female school, but then I saw that there are um, cubicles in there. Cubicles without walls around them. There's a key on the floor. Let's take up the key. Oh, pick up the key. <laughs> take up the key. No, take up the key and lift it in the heavens. Right. Uh, key. Oh, press Z for description. Okay. Uh, okay, so it's half. A small gift from Emma. Oh, it's best friends forever. Oh, dear. And that's shattered. No, wait. Emma has the other half. Okay. The key to the school's west hallway. Letter. Come to the school tonight. I'll show you my favourite flower. Oh, so that was the original promise. Medication. You can't forget to take this. When do we take it? It's very important if we know when to take it. Otherwise, we could be in all sorts of trouble. Let's see. What is down here? The door to the basement is locked. Okay. A card reader. Do we have a card on us? Surely if... No. I was about to say, surely if we're a student, we could access it, but then again, it would be useless if anybody can just access in there. And it'll most likely be something which students shouldn't access anyways, like, let's say, cleaning um, facilities and stuff like that. You unlock the door and discard every key, because that's what you do when you unlock a door, you discard it. A keypad to put a password into. You don't know what it could be. That's okay, we can search around even more. And obviously, that is that. You think you can see something through the window? Oh, gosh, there is a turtle head through there. Oh, hi. And oh, the turtle head is gone. There's nothing there now with a black border. Oh, dearie me. Let us not be spooked out by that. You don't need to go upstairs. Well, what if I do? I possibly need something from upstairs. A fire extinguisher. And this? 
Someone left a whiteboard on their locker. There are some there are some dry eraser marks under it. You may be able to write something here later. What about now? We haven't got any pens though. Uh, decorating sticky notes. Save over there. What's in here? Hmm. There's a candle on the wall. Okay, PD day. Aha! We have ourselves a birthday here. So, whatever this could mean. I don't know what it means. It's 1026, for goodness sakes. I'm also going to write down 1008 as well, just in case PD day comes into a play at some point. It could be like a theme later on throughout the game where it's like, remember this little bit of detail that you possibly didn't write down? Well, this is probably important right now to unlock the true ending and stuff like that. Okay, where was it that we needed to go? It definitely wasn't this door. There's caution tape on the door to the cafeteria. It's likely not safe to go in there. Well, that's probably where Emma is, for goodness sakes. Most likely she'll end up in the area which you should not be in in the first place. Right. Isn't that all grand? Can we input it here? Or maybe it's not even this. No, I don't think it's that. It, no, wait, it's one of the classrooms to the south, I would think. Yeah, it's this one, isn't it? Yep, all this good stuff. Um, ten, I should have gone the other way. And gone the other way. It opened. Hell yeah. There's a key inside. Oh, great. We unlocked a door to find some sort of... No, no, some sort of clue. But we unlocked a door to find a turtle head. And then we went out here and then did that. Something written here. Uh, okay, that's fine. Office key for the office. I like the fact that each of these keys have a different... Uh, visual to them, which is nice. The key to the school is main office. What's in this room? Looks like a door is ajar, though. The drawers contain all sorts of papers and documents. None of them are of any importance to you. I am likely to believe otherwise. A poster for student government. They usually meet in this room. Hell yeah. Can we take anything from here? A large ballot box for student government. The closet is completely empty. It looks like there's enough room for a person to fit inside. So, what's going to happen is that there's going to be a chase scene. And we need to come back into this room and fit inside that empty closet so that that demon or monster, whatever it is, or wait, that ghost, won't be able to kill me. That's most likely going to be the case. Mason is already searching this area. So, where do we need to go next if that is not it? Um, this is... Something. A card reader is there. So we can't go there. Where is the main office? The school's main office. It's unlock that with the key. It's definitely not here because that's the entrance to the school. It's, actually, it could be this. Uh, our principles. Okay. There we go. We did that and we discarded the key. <laughs> what a responsible student to just throw away the principal's key like that. Let alone discovering the principal's key in the first place. There's all sorts of different books on the shelf. There's nothing of interest in the drawer. Nothing on this deck. An anti-bullying poster featuring a cat mascot. Do these actually do anything? Nope, they're just aesthetical purposes. There's something written here. It reads, even after all these months I can see that the students are still suffering. But at this point, how could they not? The police still have no leads and haven't made any progress in their investigations. Paranormal. What happened is completely shaken this community. Even if a one were responsible were to be brought to justice tomorrow, what would that even change? Well, preventing others from meeting the same demise. I fear that it is already far too late. The worst has already happened. There's no such thing as the worst has already happened. There's always bound to be something rubbish later on down the line. The sign has the principal's name on it. Curtis Dale. And this desk? Nothing there. Um, nothing in here though, nothing to collect, so this is just based off events and stuff like that. Draw to the desk, one lonely desk, that's it, nothing here, nothing there, okay let's move on. Let's move on and see what else is around these parts. Oh Harriet, where are you? You hear Emma shouting from nearby? Absolutely don't, I don't hear Emma shouting from nearby. But let's go to where um, uh, our friend is. Not there. Must be over here. And over here. Oh, Mason. Goodness sakes. Where would they be coming from? They're coming from the left side. How dare they? 
Uh, don't need to go upstairs at the moment. Uh, okay, they're definitely coming from... No. Doors are locked. Where is that voice coming from, then? If there's none of these rooms, it must be one of these rooms there. Ah, there we go. There's Emma. Ah, there you are, Harry. I've been looking all over for you. Sheesh, kebabs. I looked in every nook and cranny of this place and found nothing. This trip was a complete bust. I wish we could have stayed a little longer, but Mason would probably throw a fit. He's peed enough as it is. Let's find him so we can have our, have our sleep over already. I even asked Mason if he wants to come this time. Yeah, that like that's going to work. Oh yeah, I even brought stuff for s'mores. S'mores, snores, snacks. It's meant to be a, a weird hybrid of snacks and snores. Right, file two. going to file a complaint to the board about this annoyance. Eh? Well then, looks like this is a bit of a conspicuous time, but why is the, um, the rightmost bit of the screen blacked out? Harriet, was this always here? No, it was not. Uh, at, but the cafeteria is open, which means the separator from um, Mason. Shoot, won't budge. Um, are you sure? You're saying Mason went through here earlier. I swear, you and Mason better try not to be messing with me. Look. You can believe us or not, but Mason went through those double doors, okay? What are you going to do about it? Um, alright, I'll go around from upstairs. Maybe I can grab him? Wouldn't it be best if we do stuff together rather than always being separate? Wait outside for me, okay? I'll just be a second. Yeah, 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 whatever you say. Let's go through these doors instead. There's wire around the doorknob that's locked. Oh. I see how it is. Right. X marks the spot. Odd carving. Hmm. We need a friend with us so we can get whatever is in there out. <laughs> Way outside my ass. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. What so bi Huh? The door won't open. Dun, dun, dun. Welcome to insanity. We went into the, the facility and we tried to go back out. It would not. Looking through the window, you can see that there are chains around the handles on the outside. Well, isn't that just fantastic? Just fan- And electricity's gonna go out, of course. Firstly, it's the doors, and then the lighting. The most- <laughs> The most expected thing to happen. Come on out, turtle head. Please make yourselves a welcoming party to us. Let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs and see, see what's going on around here. Uh, the, the room is small and very dark. It's loose to search in there without light. Okay, so that's probably like a storage room. This thing again. Trying to remember what it's from is giving you a headache. The cigarette smells overpowering. It just feels so familiar. Like if it was nearby a relative then while they were smoking. That's the only deduction I could think of. Otherwise, why would it smell of, t of tobacco? There's something written here. Seems like a printed out email. It reads, to Alison Pickens. Hey, I want to tell you about what happened today. It's crazy, I tell you. When I was preparing to leave, I spotted a strange man standing at the end of the hall. I didn't get a good luck, but the instant he noticed me there, he booked it. Mischievous. No, not even mischievous, but creepy. A stalker, possibly. I have no idea what he was doing there. What's even weirder is that he was standing outside of Marina's old room like he had just came out of it. Come out of it. Hope this has nothing to do with what happened earlier this year. It's really freaky because I know I'm not the only one who, had, who has experiences like this. What do you think this could be? I know the students have been saying it's, it's the result of some kind of ghost, but I don't know. I think that sounds too crazy. Yeah, sometimes the craziest things turns out to be true. Notice, this email and any attachments may contain confidential and perpetuary information of the Smith Line High School and may be legally privileged. This email is intended solely for the address. <laughs> Whoops, sorry, we read that email. Uh, grammar poster and this white, well, it's a green board actually. Various novels are on the shelf. The, uh, the predecessor were blackboards with white chalk. They are probably required by the curriculum. Indeed they are. Easiest to see, but the hardest to remove off with ease. We need a light source. Do we have any light sources? We don't. None of the above. Right. Hmm. The medication could be tied to what Harriet had been um, 
uh, a victim of. The cabinet is filled with economic advice books. Uh, economic advice books. Any of these desks of any interest or value to our endeavors? Nope, nope, nope. Just absolutely none of the above. Absolutely none of the above. None of the above. What? I was wondering why that took a bit longer to to load in. A poster for the robotics club. Okay. Robotic, no. A paper with phone numbers attached to it. The door won't open. There's a wire tied around the doorknob. Looks like we need a pair of pliers or something to be able to cut the wires with. Some of these lockers decorated in sticky notes. Another one decorated in information which I would use otherwise. Oh, gosh. To help me out with puzzles. There's some blood on the floor. A poster for the band program. It's just around midnight. Of course it would be. I'm going to look at that room last. Hmm, is someone crying inside there? Nope, it's just our imagination. The handles are chained on the other side of the door. Great. And what about this? Oh, isn't that just grand? Mason! Well, it looks like it's our turn to run. Our turn to run. Our turn to go to the goddamn locker. We know where we're going from. I also like as well the expression of the character has changed. That is a really nice touch. Oh. Oh, that was an easy escape. That was a nice escape. Uh, fit in there. Yes, quick hide in the closet. <laughs> Let me do that, please. Uh, obviously, he's not going to notice that we're in there, is he now? But the main problem that we have is that Mason has been killed. That man is searching around. What is going on in here? I think because it's clear. I'm trying to interact with the game, but there's... Oh, there's a key on the floor. Yep, he gone, my friend, he gone. Looks like someone left a key on the ground. Desk key. Hell yeah. Yeah, we just went in there and here and I knew that. I knew there was going to be a chasing somewhere down the line. All right. Let's just see how our friend is doing. If he's even still there, that is. Maybe he's become undead just like that man is. Hmm. Someone is crying in that room. Maybe it's better to check it first. Okay. Hello. Eh. Hello. It's me. Harriet, is that you? Oh, Harriet, thank God you're all right. Ah. <laughs> you saw him, right? The dude in the mask? And... And Mason. We need to get out of here right now. The exit was sealed off when you checked. Then what are we supposed to... We know what we need to do. We need to find a way out of here. Hmm? You'll look for another way out, but that mascot guy's still wandering around. You'll get hurt, Harriet. Are you sure about this? Mm-hmm. You insist, huh? I guess there isn't anything I can say to stop you. I hate to send you out there alone, but my legs are shaking so much. I'm so afraid and confused. I'll just slow you down. I'll be in here while you try to find another way out. Does it sound good? <laughs> but please don't forget to check on me. I can help, I can give you advice, or a talk, or a good emotional support hug. All the good stuff. Just come see me. Don't leave me alone for too long, seriously, I really need you here. And, um, I really do care about you, Harriet. i do my best to help you from a distance. Please stay safe out there. Okay, uh, a phone with, uh, sorry, paper with phone numbers attached to it. A uh, collection of old textbooks. Some of the covers have been torn off. Okay, so unlike Purgatory 2, this time we're going to actually try our best to interact with Emma rather than outright ignore her. But we cannot get past. Please be careful, Harriet. And, um, maybe check on Mason. Maybe he... No. Why do you think that would be a good idea to check on our friend? Look. He's there. He's not Mason. Oh dear. He not there. And what is Harriet doing? Ah, Mason isn't moving. But you saw something fell out of his pocket before. 
picks up a classroom key. Some medical files with blankets stacked on top of a cabinet. Crikey. And your hand is now bandaged as well. Okay, so I've just got, just discovered a bit of an error here. Um, the rightmost hand is always lit with red, despite the character switching around. So it should be on our left side. So when we're looking at a character, the red should be on her right hand, which would be, from our perspective, her left hand. But from her, it interchanges between each hand. There's a flashlight here, but it's missing two batteries. We can always pick up the flashlight and then look around for the batteries at some point. You don't recall ever <laughs> looking very sanitized, those goddamn ice packs. Mm, Mason isn't moving. Right, we picked up a key of sorts. We picked up a desk key. A key for a locked desk. Uh, dear, a poster for the band program. Coming down here was a bad idea. We should have went upstairs first. Although maybe we may not be able to go upstairs. You unlock the door. Oh yeah. There are some scanner documents on the desk. One being a photocopy of a police report. It reads synopsis on August 30th. Approximately 0500 hours. A man was spotted in this room by teacher Samuel N. Wharton. He claimed to be coming into work very early that day to set up lesson plans and was surprised to see a person inside his classroom. He couldn't get a good look in the dark, but could at least tell it was a man with a strong build. He was also well over six feet tall. The man pushed him to the ground and ran off before he could get back to his feet. His injuries were minor and nothing has been reported lost or stolen. There have been multiple complaints about strange noises coming from the school at night, crying, screaming, laughing, etc. It's unknown if these reports are related. But regardless, since two girls disappeared from that school last semester, we are to take all reports such as these very seriously. Ouch. So there had been investigation regarding towards that um, thing that went on. A collection of math textbooks with a label saying Mrs. Wallace across the top. What is Mrs. Wallace in association with all this? Was resources and hotlines for the club members. I don't know why I thought hotlines at default being something else entirely. A poster for the book club. Uh, the doors are locked to this, obviously. Why would they not be locked? And then there's obviously another murder case within this room. It looks like him, but that's not why you feel so unnerved. Think, Harriet, think. It's just a place where we can save nothing bad at all. A list of mental health resources. I don't know if we could have gone upstairs first rather than downstairs. That's what I was thinking. A memorial to the students and teacher who went missing. Although it could have been like a case where if we went upstairs first and then downstairs, maybe also how it would have been met her demise. There's a slip of crumpled paper shoved between two textbooks. See you soon. Shut up. This is no prank. An anti-bullying poster featuring a cat mascot. Do these actually do anything? Of course they do. They help people stop bullying others. Because there is no benefit to bullying. person who bullies is a person who's been bullied. That's the never-ending cycle of these things. Somebody's locker is decorated in sticky notes. The best thing you could do about bullies is to ignore them. A mop bucket. But there isn't a mop with it. Maybe somebody used it as a murder weapon. Shells packed with cleaning supplies. More cleaning supplies. It seems radio is emitting a static noise. If only you could get the battery out with something, like a screwdriver or something like that. If only you could use that battery to power up the flashlight. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Decorated. This is, uh, you unlock the door and discard the key. Right, where do we get that key again? Inside an assortment of DVDs featuring brightly coloured characters is probably for the club that meets in here. I swear when I investigated the store for the first time I said it was locked. Opposed to welcoming new members of the anime club. Why like your favourite anime? I like the one with a very smart guy with a white jacket on. If then he comes across an even smarter girl who's younger than he is. And he somehow invents the first time machine involving a microwave, probably for the club that meets here. Uh, I'm referring to Steinscape, by the way. There's crumpled up papers inside. Hmm. There's fresh blood on the floor here. Yeah, look in the desk. We're not... We're not... <laughs> you can see the outline of a key in the darkness. 
Yeah, we're going to reach. Well, absolutely. Oh. And the drawer feels sticky and wet, but you managed to grab the key. Picked up the bloody key. I feel like we need to wash the key first before we can use it. Um, desk key. Oh, key for a locked drawer. Bloody key. A uh, key coated in fresh blubber tag reads teacher's lounge. Hmm. If we can go to the bathroom downstairs, maybe we can wash off the blood so that when we can actually use the key itself. That's what I'm thinking anyways. Neither of the sinks in the toilets in on the ground floor were able to be used for um, cleaning up a bloody key. So something else must do it. Hello, did you check on Mason? Is he alright? Nope, he's dead. Hey, cheer up. You did all you could do. When we get out of here, we will take, we'll get into the doctors. Yeah, and say what? He's been murdered? What can they do about it? Honestly. Uh, what's on your mind? Do you think my brother remembered to feed the frogs tonight? I don't think I reminded him before I left. Shoot. Do you think that is the, the, the most prior of your concerns right now? Mm, I need your advice. Oh, for that desk key, um... Have you tried looking on the second floor? Mr. Chain always locks his desk before he leaves. It's so annoying. Once he locked the book I was reading class in there because it wasn't, irre wasn't relevant or whatever. Sorry, but urban legends are more interesting than economics. Now your arm. Are you okay? Oh my god, what happened? Uh, you grabbed something that was bloody. Jeez. How'd you do that and not hurl? Well, at least the turtle guy didn't get ya. Whatever, try the room on the left side of the first floor. I think that's where the teacher's lounge is. Mm, I don't see anything else for me to check. Let me know if you find something else. Thank you for the advice. Never mind. Okay, if you need me, just ask. I just asked you. I was just seeing what that option was, just for curious sake. Right. The handles are changed. Can't go in there. We already know what's going to be in there. The lighting only changes when we're um, moving around. Is that the case? Yeah, it seems that the lighting changes when we go up and down the screen. There we go, you unlock the door and discard the key. Which one did we discard? Oh, we discarded the bloody key, okay. That's kind of good. Let's see, a snack machine. If only had some coins, we could use a snack right now. If any machine. Hmm. The drawers contain files that are filled with ungraded tests and paperwork. Maybe we can grade our own stuff. All of the may star. Hmm, this looks to be a crude drawing here, accompanied by a note. Let's hunt for some treasure, shall we? And that shows a room, and the bottom left desk has the treasure. Lovely. A mini fridge for all of the staff to store their lunches. It's a shame that some of them have still got their lunches in there, and it's been two weeks since they've last went in the fridge. How rotten is that food right now? Right, we need to look for a classroom with 10 desks on it. Sorry, not 10 desks. Um, Yeah, 10 desks. With three rows. And the first and third row has four seats. And the, the middle one has two seats. This is one. And what's under this one? This is a place marked on the drawing. Inside the desks, there's another drawing. Oh, gosh. So by one of the turtle heads, there is a window. And on that window, there is an opportunity. So, you're not the one, because you're not by a window or a... a poster of sorts. You came from there, did you not? I'm not phased out by you. I've had many jump scares in my days. I've become unflinched by your tactics. A poster for the art club, it looks super worn. Uh, you can see the outline of something from the other side of a paper. Flipping it over, you can see a drawing. Oh, great. Isn't that just fantastic? I think our friend might be in danger. But let's go down first just to check. Hmm. Well, first things first... You found the treasure. Great job. Your prize is going to your favourite room in the school. But you need a passcode to get through those doors, right? Here's one last puzzle before you can obtain your prize. Riddle me this. Who in charge is responsible for everything? 
I know him well. Uh, it's Curtis Dale, the principal of the school. If it starts with a K, and if the principal's name starts with a K, then obviously that is going to be the match for that. We we'll still need a key. Sorry, we we'll still need a card to be able to get in there. Right, where is the next point of interest around these parts? Hello. Hey, Harriet. Just doing some thinking. But that's not all that important. Uh, what's on your mind? Do you think the story is going to hit it big if we make it out? Like, to the level of getting conspiracy theories made about it? It's not ghosts. It's just a really, really abnormal serial killer. I'll have to check the forms and see what people say. But part of me is kind of worried if it does make it to that scale. Whenever a tragedy strikes like this, there's always theories about it being a hoax or it, or it being some kind of some sort of inside job. If that happens, I'll get really, really mad. You know, it could just be the principal that's a murderer. Oh, for that desk key, um, have you tried looking at second floor? Right, do we still have not fathomed out that goddamn key? Fine, but you've changed position, so that's kind of good that we interacted with you. We're on the second floor, unless we were just on the second floor. But, okay, the desk, the desk over here. Uh, something, something, that's fine, let me get to the, okay, maybe not. That is not the desk we're looking for, Mr. Bond. Let's go down here, then. Mr. Flair taught Mr. Bond his ways. I know I am very, very smart. Okay, let's see what we've got around these parts, Ben. If I can get into one of these. But it seems like there is a single place where we can use this key up here. There's no batteries, there's no tools to get the battery out of a radio. Uh, or maybe these actually. Assortment. Hmm, then there's this. Let's not think about where all the blood came from exactly. Okay, so this is definitely the second floor. Probably for a club that meets it. Or maybe it's even the floor below. Like the ground floor is sometimes considered the first floor. Rather than being called the ground floor. Which is really dumb. In a way. You unlock the drawer and discard of a key. Okay, there's a battery in the desk. Hell yeah! Seems like there's also a letter in the drawer. Hell yeah. Attention, Smith Line staff! The demolition of the old school building is going to be delayed once more due to a scheduling error. I'm aware that there's been multiple safety concerns surrounding the old buildings, so I'll be going over steps to ensure student safety going forward. Number one. The door to the basement should be locked at all times. Number two, only students who are members of robotics club are permitted in the basement. Number three, no staff is permitted in the old building. If you have to go there for any reason whatsoever, please speak to me first. I am very ded dedicated to the safety of our students and faculty, so please adhere to the steps above to prevent any accidents. Getting rid of it is my topmost priority right now. Thank you for your understanding. Principal Dale. Right then, Principal Dale, what is it with you and your um, your likelihood of being the murderer around these parts? Again, where do we need to go next? Actually, we'll just check in on Emma to see how she's doing. We've done the thing with a key. Uh, what's on your mind? Um, you know, Harriet. So it makes me miss when you had short hair. You pulled it off well. Thanks. Anything else? What do you think Bigfoot's shoe size is? I was hoping to find out when I went hunting with... Uh, exactly. Anything else? Did you take your pills yet, Harriet? Uh, you didn't? You big dummy antidepressants don't work. You, you know, don't take them. You're gonna get better. Uh, what's on your mind? Um, you think we'll make... Of course we'll make it. Yeah, me too. Um, what's on your mind? Uh, okay, you're gonna going to go around a loop. Palmy wishes we just went to the graveyard to hunt ghosts like Mason suggested. It's probably much more legal and safe. Not really. Right. Remember when you and I went to the art shop to get you a sketchbook and asked you very kindly to draw me on the first page and you refused? Okay, maybe I didn't ask so kindly. 
uh, stop giving me that look. <laughs> uh, okay, I think we've run out of conversations to loop around. No, anything else? His foot, big foot, shoe size. Mason, need your advice. Oh yeah, we need to go to the um. Oh god, where was it now? But we need to get a radio from somewhere. So I've forgotten where the radio. I think it was on the topmost floor in this storage room kind of thing. And in here, there is a radio. We need to get the flashlight first. Flashlight. There's a flashlight here, but it's missing two batteries. We need to get a screwdriver for your battery. So we can get it out of here. Let's say we got battery. Uh, let's say battery can be used for a flashlight in the nurse's office. But we need two of them to power up, apparently. What else can we do? Uh, advice. Uh, battery. I think if you could get a flashlight working with a couple of these old things. You could probably look around the second floor resource center. No shit is allowed in there. Seize your moment. Harriet. <laughs> Thanks! Um, I didn't see anything else for me to share. Let me know if you find something else. Thank you very much for that. So, second floor, which is what we're on right now. I've looked around for about 20 minutes now, trying to find this resource center on the second floor, and it's just not visible to the public eye. Like, Emma's advice is a little bit annoying, because it doesn't lead us anywhere. I need your advice. I think if you could get a flashlight working with a couple of old those old things... You could probably look around the second floor resource center. We've looked around the second floor. There is no resource center. So I don't know where you're getting this information from. <laughs> like, like anything, it could be another part of the school which we've like, yet to be able to access. But I think the, the game is thinking that we're further on the game than we actually are. So I'm going to leave things here for the moment, folks. Thank you so much for watching. This is definitely a very, very nice start to a horror game. It's definitely got the vibes in it you know there's blood around and then there's this masks and murderer going around stuff like that all the good stuff that you need in a rpg make a horror game as i said earlier within the beginning of the video there's a link down in the description below for both the original game and the remastered version of the game itself looking forward to seeing where this game goes along if we can actually find the step that we need to actually progress through the game because i've pretty much looked Everywhere that is open within the game itself at this point in time and there is nothing for us to be able to discover. Like uh, we've got as our items letter, keychain, battery and medication. But none of those lead us anywhere. Thank you so much for watching guys and see you in the next time of Turtlehead Unmasked. Have a lovely day and take care of yourselves.